Three News with Russ Mitchell. Let's begin with the chilling. A local couple is recovering. Coming up, reflections on the news. That is the news this evening. I'm Russ Mitchell. It's a big deal when you get your own open in the news business. 12 seconds. And you got you, 12 wow, whole seconds just for you, buddy. <laughs> and actually, we're going to take a little more time today to mm. mark a very special occasion. And that would be our friend Russ Mitchell's 10th anniversary oh with us. So nice of you. Well, we wanted to know how it's going. And so who else mm. do we put on that story but our very own yeah. Leon Bibb. Mm. You're watching Channel 3 News with Russ Mitchell. Ten years in this market. Wow, it's hard to believe sometimes. It's like I, I just drove in here and pulled up in front of Channel 3. But, yeah, ten years. A lot has happened in the world. A lot has happened to me. A lot has happened in Cleveland. So it's, uh, it, it's a wonderful feeling. Um, that it's been a decade. To the business at hand tonight, as you said, it is debate night in Ohio. You're a Clevelander now, a greater Clevelander now. Yeah. How are we doing? Uh, you know what? I, this is home with a capital H now. This is this is home. When I got here, it was, it was home with a small H. Now it's home with a capital H. I think we're doing great. And I think we're in an incredible time in Cleveland's history. Hi, uh, Justin Moore's bid. You know, you have new leaders coming in with other civic organizations, a, a younger, new breed coming in. So I think the next couple of years in particular, are going to be exciting for Cleveland as this new group takes over. Tell me what you think about when you when you go about your job here uh, as the uh, uh, as the primetime anchor uh, here at WKYC. What goes through your mind? What what does it what does it take to hang in there and do the job day in day out? Good news, bad news, in yeah. between news. Well, you asking me that question is, is interesting because as I've said many many times, and I'll, I'll say over and over again. I'm in the seat now that I'm in because you were there first. So if anybody knows what that's like, it's you. But I'll humor you and answer your, 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 <laughs> humor your, me. <laughs> your, 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 your question. The difference between what we deliver now, what we should deliver now, as opposed to when, when I was first starting and probably when you were first starting as well, is we have to give that perspective. Because by 5 or 6 o'clock in the afternoon, People know what's going on in the world. With another major winter storm in the forecast. Every day when, when you know, I'm looking at that newscast and preparing to go on the air, I think of that. What can I tell the viewer that's different than what he or she has already known about this? Good evening. I'm Russ Mitchell. Because Channel 3 has a promo of a, of, of a little boy, a, a Russ Mitchell lookalike, <laughs> who, who wants to be a newscaster and grows up to be... Ross Mitchell. Right. <laughs> Thanks for letting me tell your story. Was that how you were as a child? Did you did you see television or news reporting when yeah. you were a child? That kid was much cuter and smarter than I was. Let's just put that, you know, say that off the bat. I, I think I always wanted to be uh, in journalism. There was something about this profession, about being able to tell people something they didn't know before, uh, being curious, that, that always, uh, always struck me. Leave me with a final thought. Bring it home for me. Ten years. I have been incredibly fortunate not only to, to have the support of this station and this community, but to have the privilege of telling some important stories. And good evening, everyone. We are going right to our live team coverage on this breaking news tonight. The miracle in Cleveland um, in 2013. I can remember thinking to myself, and I think I said this on the air, if there's ever a time in your life when you think that miracles don't happen, think of this day. Um, being a, a, a part of that, um, being able to tell people these stories and, and hopefully give them a perspective they didn't get anywhere else is so rewarding to me. That is true. First week of February next week. I hope uh, to, to be able to tell stories here for a long time. That's what happens. Three News Go begins at 4.30 a.m. Have a wonderful night, everyone. This is what happens, right? It is. <laughs> Hard to believe. It is hard to believe wow. it's been 10 years. Do I get to tell my I was buying mustard at Dollar General story? You do. <laughs> I was buying, do I know this story? That's when we got the email that you oh, were going to be our anchor. Right. And that's I showed right. the, the poor lady at the mm. checkout at Dollar General. I held my phone up and I said, Russ Mitchell's going to be our anchor. <laughs> and she was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Whatever. I was like, oh, right. my, oh my God. I'm oh, so exactly. Excited. No, that was very nice and very, it was very honored. I was very honored to have Leon, of course, do yeah. that because he means so much to the station and to me as well. 
because I mean that. Leon sat in the seat. He was the first um, African American Monday through Friday, new, Friday through newscaster in Cleveland, and he sat here at Channel Three. And now I'm here, so I, I, I owe that to him, and I think of that often. And it was an honor there, and it was such nice things for you to say earlier. And, oh, and, I got for Clint. And, and, and Sarah, of course, <laughs> and, and and Monica, Laura. and Jimmy, and Laura. Yep. It was it was so nice. So we we have stories to tell of our early days here, which we'll tell another oh, time. Oh yeah. I took him to Sokolowski's for the first time. He did. She did. Wow. And he's my mom's I'm, BFF. I'm still full. And There's yes, all kinds I'm of big good. Sue's BFF. <laughs> big Sue, thank you. 